Jude Bellingham is one of the leading names in world football at the moment. His summer move to Real Madrid has catapulted him into the Ballon d'Or race. It has seen him put in many Man of the Match performances and score a last minute El Clasico winner. But what if last summer he had said no to Real Madrid and had decided to return to the club he started at, Birmingham City? Well, in this video, we're going to find out using Football Manager what would have happened. Would he have brought them back to the Premier League and would he ultimately secure a Premier League title for the Blues? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, I'm g and and here we are for our Jude Bellingham experiment where he's going back to Birmingham instead of going to Real Madrid. And before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to the Flying Scotsman once again who helped put together this save of Jude Bellingham back in Birmingham. Go check out his YouTube channel, lots of brilliant football manager content there. So Jude is back as a blue, he is here until 2041 when he has a move to Real Madrid, Real Madrid uh, greed. Uh, he is gone he, here instead of going to Madrid initially. Uh, so he went from Dortmund to Birmingham. They paid a fee of 88 million Birmingham for him. Definitely a huge fee for them. Uh, if we look at his profile, you can see brilliant footballer already. He's going to develop even more. A value of 85 million to 254 million. Going to be Birmingham's key player for all these years for sure. If we look at Birmingham, they're in the championship. Predicted to finish 17th even with uh, Bellingham in their team. A club value of 34 million, which is less than... Uh, what Bellingham himself is worth so yeah he's going to be a vital player for them if we look at their squad you see lots of players with lower values in that squad and then the huge standout player in midfield yeah it's going to be interesting to see how Bellingham gets on here back at Birmingham uh, just a quick note here just to spot he has 24 caps and one goal for England I want to see if he gets any more caps during his time in the championship there's a Euros at the end of this season uh, will he go to that Euros with England will he play much and will he get Birmingham promoted back to the Premier League in his fourth season back let's find out as we go one forward one season forward into 2024 how has Bellingham got on back at Birmingham so we are back at Birmingham in July 2024, Jude Bellingham's fourth season back in uh, the blue jersey. He had a good enough season personally in the championship. He played 40 times, 16 goals, 2 assists, 9 miles a match and a 6.93 overall rating. Uh, he did not gain promotion for Birmingham because if we look at the table, let's go back to last season, you'll see Birmingham ended up finishing 17th in the table, nowhere near the uh, playoff spots even and just... Uh, Keeping their head above water mid-table, which they take in real life, of course. But uh, yeah, not a fantastic first season back for Jude. If we look at Birmingham, he is uh, the key player, of course. He is on that reduced wage, by the way, just to keep make sure he doesn't bankrupt the club. But yeah, he is the key player. He'd probably become captain eventually, you would think. Tony Mowbray is still the manager there. So a midland fourth season for Jude at Birmingham. They're safely in mid-table, so let's see how the second season goes. In terms of internationally, he has gained four more caps for England, scored one more goal. But if we look at how England got on at the Euros, it is a sorry sight for them. They drew with Spain in the group, they beat Northern Ireland, France defeated them. And then the only appearance Jude made in the Euros was off the bench in this second round clash with Croatia. He came on on 64 minutes, he got a 6.3 rating as England were knocked out in extra time by the Croatians. So yeah, playing in the championship definitely did Jude a bit of harm as we go back to his profile. He is clearly good enough to be playing for England as you can see from his attributes. But yeah, playing in the championship definitely doing him a bit of harm and he's going to be in it again for the second season at Birmingham. We're going to go forward until Jude is 25. So we're going to go four more seasons forward. Has he brought Birmingham back to the Premier League? Well, here we are back on the 10th of July 2028 at 25 year old. Jude Bellingham has just completed his fifth season back at Birmingham and if we look at his stats he's now made 204 appearances, scored 80 goals. Big question though, has he brought Birmingham back to the Premier League? No. <laughs> so it's four seasons more in the championship for Jude with Birmingham. He is now their captain uh, they should say. So in the second season he played 40 times. 14 goals, 9 assists and 5 man match. So a little bit of a dip from his fourth season but a higher rating of 7.08. His third season at Birmingham, he made 37 appearances, 12 goals, 7 assists and only 2 man of the match at 7.06 rating. And in his fourth season, he made 41 appearances. His goals went up with 17 goals, 3 assists, 5 player of the matches 
and a 6.99 rate. So a bit of a dip in the overall rating, but more goals in that season. And then his highest goals in a season is in his fifth season, where he made 46 appearances, 21 goals, three assists, 10 man of the matches, and a 7.13 rating, which is his highest rating since he's come back to Bering within the last season. But as I said, uh, they are still in the championship and they haven't got promoted, as you can see here. Vincent Company is now the manager. If we look, uh, there we are, Jude Bellingham as captain, and yeah, he's their key player as well. Just a quick look at the manager's history. So Tony Mowbray was sacked, Murat Yakin took over then, he was sacked, and Mitchell van der Gag, who is uh, and Eric Tan Hag's uh, assistant manager, I think, in real life, he took over but was sacked inside just over a year. But Vincent Company has taken over, so Birmingham haven't got most. So let's see how they've got on in the league. Go back to the second season of Bellingham at Birmingham, and they finished in 13th position here, so well outside the playoffs. Next season, they got a bit higher, they finished 8th, so they're pushing up towards the playoff positions. The next season, they did finish 9th, so a bit of a drop back there, finishing behind West Brom and Wolves, which wouldn't have went down too well with the fans. And then in the next season, they did make the playoffs, snuck into the playoffs in 6th position. Let's see how they got on in the playoffs, go to the semi-final. Ah, a defeat in the semi-final. They were 2-0 up from the first leg, but lost at home 4-0 to Sunderland. And uh, who went up in that playoff final? It was actually Cardo, so Sunderland didn't even go up. So yeah, yeah, Birmingham not making much progress with a star player like Jude in their lineup. He has earned, I'll see here, a lot more England caps. He's on 55 now. He scored 11 goals. Let's see how he's getting on with England. And one thing to note is he is now English vice captain behind Declan Rice. So playing in the championship hasn't done him any harm that way. Lopetegui is now the England manager. And I see a couple of success there. So we go through England's schedule. So they've just finished the Euros in 2028. And they've just defeated uh, Germany in the final. So England are European champions. Uh, the season before that, uh, they won the Nations League as well. Jude Bellingham scoring in the semi-final against Belgium. As he put England through to that final against the Netherlands. Which they won on penalties, which is a bit of a shock for England. Um, the year before that was the World Cup, and they were knocked out in the round of 16 by Germany 2 0. Yeah, so no World Cup yet for England. 2025 was just qualifying for the World Cup, so yeah, he has had a little bit of success with England. He's won a Nations League and he's won a Euros there in the season just gone by. So we look at his milestones quickly, you'll see he's a Nations League winner with England. He is a Euros winner with England. He was the Skybet third place top scorer in the season just gone. And uh, he's been in the Birmingham 11. He won Young Player of the Year in the Championship in 24 25. That's an award there. But yeah, no big success with Birmingham, but he has had success with England and he seems to be now a regular with England as the vice captain. So yeah, that is Jude Bellingham, five seasons into being back at Birmingham. Can he now go on and take the next step up and get Birmingham back promoted to the Premier League? We're going to go five more seasons on. We're going to go to Jude Bellingham at 30 years old at Birmingham. So we are back again on the 17th of July 2033. Uh, Jude Bellingham has turned 30. He's still at Birmingham, of course. Still looking a very good footballer. Look at those mentals looking really good. Technicals pretty good too. Passing especially and uh, his dribbling. Physicals are holding up. He is 30 now, as I said, but he's having a bit of a strange time in his career. He is captain of Birmingham, uh, which he was in when we came back previously, but he has had a bit of a strange time. So if we look at the season after we uh, say again, he played 45 times in the championship, 13 goals, 6 assists, 5 uh, player of the matches, and then a 7.10 rating. The following season in the championship, as Birmingham got promoted in the playoffs, and we'll have a look at that in a moment, he only played seven times, so that's 29-30, remember that. Uh, three goals, five assists, one player of the match, and a 7.7 .7 rating in those appearances. And then in the Premier League, in the season in the uh, promoted backup, he only played nine times, two goals, two assists, two player of the match appearances in those uh, nine games. A 6.99 rating as Birmingham were relegated back to a championship season in which he did not play at all. Uh, Birmingham failed to get promoted in that season. They have just been promoted in the last season played, uh, and he only made three appearances with one assist and a 6.60 rating. So I want to take a look at his injuries. And we see he had a couple of major injuries. Uh, a major uh, what injury is there's a major hip injury in January 2030, which kept him out for two months. He also had a major 
ankle injury back in 2026 which kept him out for two months as well but the rest is all minor and slight injuries so for days and a couple of weeks here and there so him missing all these games seems a bit strange he hasn't played much for Birmingham if you look at he has made 19 appearances in the previous four seasons for Birmingham which is a bit strange and gets stranger in a moment we're going to look at Birmingham he is still uh, their key their key player he is still their captain uh, Jesse March is now the manager have they gone through many managers uh, we'll have a look it's Vincent Company last Arnie Schlott Bradley Johnson Liam Rossinior Bradley Johnson again that he's caretaker actually and then Jesse March so Jesse March Rossinior Schlott and Company have been the managers so yeah he's been out of the team and uh, they are back to the Premier League they did get promoted in the previous season so we'll take a look at how that happened uh, we'll see they got promoted through the playoffs in the championship they finished fourth last season in the championship on 83 points and they got to the playoff final which they won of course because they were promoted and they won it on penalties against Sheffield United in a game in which Jude did not make an appearance uh, if we take a look just quickly at the game uh, went to penalties at Wembley and uh, yeah this was a season in which he did make nearly no appearances and you can see he did not play in this final he wasn't even on the bench for some reason yeah so it's very strange and it's going to get stranger in a moment but we'll just a quick a quick look back at previous those previous seasons in the league uh in the league table so we go back the season before they only just stayed up in the championship they finished 19th that was after relegation and uh, the season they went up was through the playoffs as well we'll see who they played in that final they played burnley in that final and we just oh i can't go back to see uh did jude play in that game but yeah so that's birmingham they've just about stayed up in the championship then got promoted back to the premier league but Jude has not been making many appearances. And if we look at their transfer history, it's not because they've been bringing in absolute superstars or anything, because 58 million spent last season, uh, 75, 17 million that season, 25 there. Any big names brought in? No real big names brought in, we'll see here. Uh, 23 million spent there, 31 million spent there. John Joe Kenny, one of their signings from uh, Hertha Berlin. Will Langshire, a player we know from uh, FM23 on the channel when he came to UCD. Uh, a couple of other players in there and yeah there's no huge spending from Birmingham it's not like they've bought in loads of players to promote out of the team so yeah it's all just a bit strange why are Birmingham not playing uh, Jude Bellingham and it gets stranger as I said when you look at his England career because he has 105 caps 26 goals for England he's also England captain <laughs> so he's not playing in the championship for Birmingham but he's England captain and he is playing for England because if we look at England's schedule uh, you'll see he has been playing so England have just lost a Nations League final to France 3-0 the year before they were knocked out of the Euros in a semi-final against France in extra time defeating Ireland in a quarter final of 4-3 epic at the New Camp uh, Jude Bellingham of course scored in a couple of games here in the Euros so he's playing for England regularly uh, the season before they uh, qualified for the Euros and were beaten in the semi-final of the Nations League they got to the World Cup quarter final against Portugal but lost on penalties Again, Jude Bellingham playing regularly and scoring in the group stage. So, yeah, he's playing for England lots. Um, he's playing for England lots. He's England captain. Uh, and then not playing for Birmingham. So, it's a very, very strange situation. His value has decreased a lot playing in the championship and not playing at all. He's 30 now. So, we're going to advance forward one last time to the 1st of the 6th, 2041, when he leaves Birmingham and joins Real Madrid. So we are back for our final look at Jude Bellingham at Birmingham. He has now joined Real Madrid with a huge pay increase. He signed up to 2046, but he's 37 now. Uh, so he is at Madrid now, but his time at Birmingham has come to an end. And the last few seasons continued to be very strange because we left the Justin Port back to the Premier League in 2033-34. He made two appearances in the Premier League that season as Birmingham stayed up. A 6.40 rating the following season he made six appearances for Birmingham with a 6.57 rating dropped down to the championship to relegate that season he made four appearances two goals a 7.28 rating back to the Premier League he made four appearances one goal and one player of the match a 6.85 a four appearances again the season after and again just one goal uh, scoring that season he, they were relegated back to the championship uh, and he made three appearances with one goal. Uh, another season in the championship, he made seven appearances, which is the most he's made in a long time for Birmingham. Three goals and one player of the match appearance, a 7.16. And then they were in the Premier League. He made seven appearances with an average rating of seven. So the quality is still there. If we look at his attributes, like, the quality is still there in him. His 
Physicals have taken a big drop. Acceleration is 7, down to pace 9, 9, stamina. His mentals are still very strong, technical is still pretty good. I'm not sure why Birmingham didn't play him a bit more. If we look at Birmingham seasons, uh, we look at Birmingham now, he is a legend at the club. <laughs> so yeah, he's in the Hall of Fame as a legend, but barely played in the last 10 seasons or so. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, Birmingham finished rock bottom of the Premier League in the season just gone, only winning four goals. Uh, if we take a look at the previous seasons in the Premier League, we'll see the season before Birmingham finished, Birmingham weren't in it during the championship. We'll go back to that in a second. Uh, the last time they were in the Premier League was in 20, 37, 38. They were relegated with 29 points. And uh, yeah, not great. The season before, where did they finish? Just above the relegation. So 34 points. They stayed up. And that is back to 2023 when they got promoted. They stayed in 16th. So they haven't had that high of a finish with Jude Bellingham. Just have a look here. Their highest finish in the Premier League is 16th. Yeah, 16th is their highest finish in the Premier League. They've been promoted a couple of times. They won a championship, did they? No, they didn't win a championship. They won the playoffs every time or were promoted as one of the runners-up. But yeah, disappointing. To have a player of Jude Bellingham's quality and not use him, I'm very strange how that has happened. I just want to look at Jude. He ended up with 175 caps for England. So he probably played more for England in the last 10 years than he did for Birmingham, which seems crazy. He is now, I'd say, retired from international years, yeah. England have won another European uh, championship in 2040. They didn't win a World Cup. Uh, they didn't win another Nations League. They won one in 2027. I uh, just want to look, actually, at Jude for a second and see his milestones here. And we'll see, he signed for Real Madrid on a free. He won the Euros with England in 2040, so he was part of that. So he would have retired from international football after that. He probably was captain, I would assume, of England for that Euros and uh, they won it. Got a promotion there with Birmingham. Uh, promotion via the playoffs here. So they got promoted as runner-up in 2040 in the championship. He went on to win the Eng uh, Euros with England. Yeah, so look at his awards. He no never won a player of the season award or anything like that. Uh, landmarks. He resigned as England captain in 2040 after winning the Euro, yeah. He broke the record, I see here, for the most appearances for England. 161 with a uh, cap against Liechtenstein at the age of 35. So, uh, Jude Bellingham is the record uh, cap holder now for England, which is amazing. We just look to check that record. Uh, we go to records here, and you'll see, do we see most caps? Where am I looking? Here we go. Most All-time top scorer is still Harry Kane. Uh, yeah, most cap player ever, 175, Jude Bellingham. So here you go. Jude Bellingham is the most capped England player of all time. If you look at how many games he played for Birmingham in that time. He was basically an international footballer, part-time Birmingham player at that stage. So yeah, not really sure what happened there. Uh, was it a big success from going back to Birmingham? Well, they played in the Premier League a few times. They stayed up a couple of times. Not, he wasn't really involved though, so I can't say it was a success. I'm not really sure why Birmingham didn't play more. He made 305 appearances for Birmingham in his uh, near 20-year time there. 106 goals. Yeah, probably decent enough. Just, I think he should have made a lot more appearances. But uh, you can let me know in the comments what you think, why Birmingham didn't play him as much as they should have. Uh, also, let me know in the comments if there's any other player you'd like to see moved to a club and what club that would like to be. Always good to get uh, more uh, people wanting to see experiments on the channel and always happy to do them when I can. So, if you did enjoy today's video, uh, please drop a like on it. Always good to see more likes and people enjoy them. Don't forget to leave that feedback in the comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Really helps the channel grow and will help you catch all future videos plus these experiment videos on the channel. There's a new uh, Let's Play series coming up soon on the channel as well. So subscribe and we'll make sure you get all those videos. And until the next one, take it easy.